Hey guys, so um, this is a new slide trigger that just came out. Um, so I thought originally these were from Mirage Comics, but they're actually from Archie Comics. Um, but this is basically how it looked like in the um, the comic book. In the package, it looks awesome. Like this might be my favorite slash figure. Um, let's see. As far as I can tell, there's just... Uh, I don't know. Can't tell any hands. Like, I'm hoping he's got, like, ripping hands because it's, like, fisted ones and open ones here. Um, man, it looks awesome, though. Have the... Uh, Binky here on the side, on the back. Got some product shots, uh, some pictures of stuff to come in. Uh, these look really cool though. Like that was, uh, I think, Ray Filet from the cartoon and all that. That's been around here. Um, got another picture here. Um, on the top. That's pretty much it. All there is to do is just open it up. All right, so I got a slash out of the package. Um, there were like two extra gripping hands down the bottom. So you basically have these hands to um, hold his weapons. Um, these are like the two open hands. Don't think, well, maybe kind of sort of hold a weapon. Yeah, it's kind of loose though, but if I do one of these hands, imagine this would hold it way better. Yeah, there we go. Um, so there's like the two weapons he comes with. It's just like this jagged sword, which looks a lot like the other one Slash had. Um, kind of looking up at my collection. I've got like the uh, Turtles on Time one, so may bring him out to do a comparison. And also got the animated series one. Um, up close, um, so mainly got like black, uh, brown, let's see, straps and stuff. Um, really like this too. This is a really cool looking belt. And they kind of do like the color shading in here too. Um, the white and kind of like the teal. The face looks amazing. <laughs> like I just, that's so good. Like I love like the one eye up, which I think that's kind of slashes thing. Like one eye is bigger than the other. I like that they added like the gums in here, but I mean these teeth are like the details phenomenal. Um has kind of like a chin, maybe a shadow in here. His band, it seems like it just kind of rotates side to side. So you can do it kind of up if you want to like that. But um he is kind of restricting his neck movement. So this is molded all the way to here. So it's just like kind of side to side so that's about it but I mean you know most slashes have kind of like that hunch look to it um or at least that's when I remember them not a whole lot of shoulder movement these are pretty tight um about like there and down I think that one's pretty tight too yeah pretty tight um there's a little bit of wiggling here but not bad you can kind of hear it you know, I've seen worse, um, seen better too. It's one thing it gets me, it's just like this, there's just plain like cut here. Like, I mean, there is so much detail here and then it's just like, just this plain plastic piece here. It's kind of odd. I mean, you don't really see it because the bottom of the shell covers it and the front of the shell and the back of the shell. Um, so it just is what it is. Um, yeah, they're like the shoulder pads too. They're like kind of like pieces of wood put together. Um, both sides are basically identical. And I really like the spotting and the coloring here too. It just really makes the figure stand out. Uh, the shell, these are not pointy. These are kind of just blunt spikes. So you don't have to worry about stabbing yourself with those. Um, there's no place to put a weapon here. I mean, I know you could probably just squeeze one in here, so. That. Look at his arm. Well, I'm not gonna do too crazy. Yeah, I think you can squeeze it in there, just have to kind of work with it. Um, 
I did notice a little bit of like a ding here or something. None of these are perfect, but you know, they come out like that. Um, kind of has like the basic hip movement, double jointed knees, double jointed elbows. Uh, the claws are actually attached to his wrists. So whenever you take off a fist, uh, let's see. You still get the claw there. So you can add a weapon and still have his, you know, his claw visible too, which I really like that. I think that's a, uh, I'm glad they did that. But yeah. I wonder how it looked with the, um, the other hand. So I'm kind of interested in these, like these kind of open hands. So I'm gonna switch out his right hand. I usually have the weapon in the, the left, right hand, and then left hand is something else. So, so I'm right handed, and it's the way I guess I just naturally do. Um, I don't know why the sword just looks like it's kind of holding his fingertips. There we go. That's pretty cool. So, you can't do any, like, really crazy poses. Uh, Slash has always been, like, kind of like a shorter, stockier figure. Um, or character, more or less. So, um, I do want to bring out, I've got the Turtles and Time one, and I've got the, um, what's the other one called? The uh, animated one, just to kind of do a comparison between those. So, I'll be right back with that. All right, so I got my figures kind of... This is my Slash collection. I don't have like any other ones, like uh, kind of like the original toy would be cool too. Um, but you can kind of tell like, he's much more, well he's bigger, but he's like stockier, I guess you could say. Um, one thing I was kind of thinking was like, this sword is like this one. The design is the same, but this is definitely a bigger one. Um, The belt has like kind of the same design, but it's not the same belt. Like there's the Z, supposed to be slash, but I guess backwards. Um, this one is definitely better. Like I just think it looks better, cleaner look and everything like that. Um, even the backs are different too. Like the back shell is just bigger. You know, I was thinking like, well maybe they borrowed some of this mold from other ones. Um, you know, with him, this is just totally different. You know, this is kind of remember in the, in the uh, animated one. So I think that's really cool. Um, they borrowed a lot of the design. So, um, I don't know. If I had to pick, you know, because I was thinking this when I first got this. I've always been kind of on the fence about this Slash. Because he was like my first Slash. And, you know, I was glad to have him or everything like that. But, like... I don't know, like I got this one, and I like this one better than this one, and now I kind of like this one better than that one. I just think this is a very intense, imposing slash. I think it just looks really good. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't say like I would replace them, like I kind of like having all of them, you know, like I mean, I don't know, I just think he fits really well with all the other ones too. Um, you know, he's... I kind of like the size, like just the bigness of them, because like these two kind of have the same kind of frame that the other trolls have, same height and you know bulk and everything. And I just kind of like having this slash because he's just so much stockier. I mean, he's just a bigger dude. Um, so yeah, I mean, like you know, with all that said, this is definitely my favorite slash now. Um, this, this is an excellent figure. I'm like really impressed with just. I mean, even when looking at it far away, you just see how the shadowing and stuff like that, how this color stands out. I love the black bandana, you know, kind of the brown with it too and everything. Like, this is, this is a really impressive figure. I'm really glad to have it. Um, but anyways, um, that is pretty much it, and thanks for watching.